Let's take a look at creating our first Visual Studio C Sharp application. There are a lot of things that I'm assuming you don't know and we're not going to go into high detail. Our goal in this video is simply to make uh, a program work. And later on we'll go into deeper explanation as to how things actually work behind the scenes. So in this tutorial we'll be using C Sharp and Visual Studio. Uh, I'm assuming you've already downloaded Visual Studio. If you haven't, go ahead and download Visual Studio from Microsoft.com and come back and once you have it installed then we'll go ahead and start from here. So it's already downloaded and here I am with Visual Studio icon on my desktop. You can get it from your desktop or in any Windows uh, computer you can go to your start menu and get it from there. And sometimes you'll have it here inside of your uh, your access bar down there. So for right now, I'm just going to double click on this icon here. It's going to open up Visual Studio 2019. Uh, I already had some applications going on here, some programs that I wrote. So that's there for me, but you may not have it there. So because if this is your first time using it, you won't see anything there. What we want is to go ahead and create this new project. I'm going to click on that. Once you do that, you'll see all these templates for a new project. We want to go here, instead of this saying Visual Basic, we want to click on that and select C Sharp because that's the language we're using. We want to make sure we're using Windows, if you're on Windows. And then you want to go here and actually, this uh, project, all, all project types, it's basically going to give us a list here of what we're looking for. But a lot of times you may see it before you even do this. and. Here is a console application. This is where we're going to start. We're not going to do anything too crazy. We're just going to create a Hello World application. So I'm going to click on this and then click Next. And now I can go ahead and name my project. I'm going to name this Hello World. I'm not going to put any um, spaces in there. Here is where it's being saved. If you want to save it someplace else like your desktop or some other drive, just go ahead and click on these three, browse, and then put it where you want it. I'm just going to leave it here since this is just a uh, example. I wanted to create a project in the same directory. So it's going to have the solutions and the project in the same directory. In essence, it's all going to be in the same folder. And I do want that. So I'm going to click create. And here it is. This is actually already our Hello World project you know when you first start this it automatically types it up for you so the only thing you need to know if you um, are not familiar which you shouldn't be because this is the very beginning tutorial for people who don't know anything about what this is so understand that this is the structure of this application here okay so this class and then this is the main functionality of this application so when the application first runs this is going to run this function main is going to run first above all other things and and when you get better you know you'll be making other functions but for right now just understand that this is a function and it's called main don't worry about everything else it's just called main and it runs right when the application runs this right here is uh, a command that's telling it you want it to write something to the console window. Now you've probably seen the console window before. If I if I were in Windows, I hit the Windows key and I just start typing console, you'll see this command prompt come up. If I clicked on that, you'll see uh, this is the console window. You've seen this before, okay? But that's basically a console window. It's not fancy. It doesn't look as good as the regular windows and windows, but it, it'll help us create and understand uh, C sharp uh, for this first application. So we actually have our hello world. This that we're working in, this environment that we're working in is called an IDE. An IDE is simply an integrated development environment. And it simply means the environment in which you are programming your application. And it's integrated because it integrates the code that you're working with, plus the frameworks and a whole host of other things. And it makes life a lot easier. Because the truth is, you could actually code this in a text editor, 
or let's say like a notepad, but it won't help you code. It won't actually help you find things and and auto correct certain things and actually refactor. And refactor simply means um, readjusting. I don't want to use too much terminology here, but in any case, it doesn't really help you if you were just using a text editor. So we use programmers use normally they use an IDE of their choice. We happen to be using Visual Studio, which is free and it's a great IDE. Uh, some people use Visual Code, which is also from Microsoft, and it's also a great IDE. So don't really let that uh, get you all confused. Just understand that an IDE is an, env uh, an environment that you are going to code in. Almost like saying, okay, a, um, a mechanics IDE is the, um, the garage. Um, a doctor's IDE, let's say, is the hospital. And that's where their environment is. That's where they do all their stuff. Um, a lion's IDE would be in the jungle. Okay, so it's just where they operate. And so our IDE as programmers is in something like Visual Studio or some other IDE that's like Visual Studio. So in this IDE, we have this program that we, we first started. And to see all the files that exist around this application, we can actually go here, if you don't already have it open, to the Solutions Explorer and you'll see everything that your program actually has. And to make sure that this Solutions Explorer stays here, because if I just do that and I click over here, you see it closes again. So all I gotta do is click on that Solutions Explorer and click on this pin, and now it'll stay there if yours wasn't already there. So you'll see here, I have these dependencies, frameworks, but this is the program right here. If I click down there, you'll see I have other files and stuff, and basically, this right here represents the functions and the classes in here. So you have this class here called program, and that's why that's highlighted. But if I were to click on this main, that represents this here. And this right here is the file itself. That's this entire file. And we'll get more into that later. Now, if I want to run this, I want to see my application run. If I were to click on play, We should see the console window pop up and there it, it is it says hello world right there and then the console window closes okay so it automatically closes if you don't want the uh console window to automatically close all you have to do is go here to build and i'm um, sorry debug and from debug you want to go start without debugging and it'll stay open as you can see here hello world now, the reason why I pointed that out is because in some cases, you, your settings may be if you click on this and it automatically closes like this where it says debugging stop, this window will open and close very quickly, okay? But if it does that, then all you need to do is go to debug and start without debugging. Now, there is a faster way to, to run this instead of going and clicking these buttons. We can just hit F5 and it will run just the same. And if I want to run it without debugging, that would be Control and F5. And then I can just do that. So just fool around with this. Try and add some story or something like this inside of this area. Add whatever you want there. And also try to make, add some more of that. Just copy what you see there. Just go Console. And you want to type this out. Don't, don't copy and paste it because you want to get used to typing this out yourself and that's going to help you become a better programmer do not do this i'm going to highlight that copy it and go down here and paste it in the beginning because it, this is really going to mess you up you got to get used to typing the code itself and one thing you'll notice if you start typing console you'll notice that the ide starts to help you you see it's saying hey you must mean this here and that's the great thing about an ide it has code completion and when I hit the period it's it's guessing hey you must mean one of these here right and I say yes now I could double click this and start but remember you want to type it you want to get used to typing it okay so even though it's helping you out in the beginning get used to typing it and one little thing I, I think I need to let you know before you move forward in any coding is actually two things First, you need to make sure that you save your work 
consistently. Now, as I'm typing here, let's say if I had 100 lines of code and this crashed, I'd lose that work. However, I can see here that I'm editing this and that it's not saved because this little star that's right there, that star means this is not saved. If I hit Control S, that star goes away because now it's saved. That's the first thing. The second thing is when you're coding, you want to make sure you close any parentheses off and then with a semicolon, close off your code in C sharp because that's like a period, let's say. Here's your statement and that's a period. So I do all of that first, then I type in quotations, that's called a string, whatever I want. And it doesn't, this could be anything. Whatever you think you want it to say, it could be anything. It, 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 all that's going to happen is it's going to, is going to output that information. So now if I were to hit Control S to save that, I hit Control S to save it, but you can go up here and hit save right here. So you can click on that. Or you can go here to file and then, um, where is it? Uh, save program right here. So then I'm going to go here and run this. And look at that. There's my story. Horrible story because no one could read it, but it's a story nonetheless. I think I might sell it to Warner Brothers perhaps for a series. So I'm going to close that. And that's basically all you need to know for right now. And we'll add on to this knowledge, but fool around with this. And then you can also add um, any other thing that you figured out. Just go ahead and test things out and have fun with it.